In this week's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, Holly Clegg is cooking up an easy crock pot recipe that's so simple even I can handle it. I think I've just been insulted by the writers of this show, but it's now time for the Ag Minute. Kristen Oaks now joins us and is going to talk about the history of the crock pot. And Kristen, when I was growing up, I don't think my mother actually had a crock pot. I think she would have been insulted over the fact that she wouldn't have had to do any work using it. Well, you know, my mom did what was ever easy and convenient. She was a teacher. But the crock pot is a staple of any American kitchen. When I was little, my mom relied on her crock pot to feed us on Sundays or whenever she was busy. And old or brand new, most ladies have a tough time parting with their best kept culinary secret. It's as easy as one, two, three. Dress up a dish, turn it on, and forget about it. Since 1971, the crock pot has simplified the way we serve up supper. The energy crisis of the 1970s forced cooks to find more efficient ways to prepare food. The rival company found a solution through another appliance called the beanery. Test chefs discovered the pot cooked more than just beans. It slowly cooked meat to tender, juicy perfection. From this, the crock pot was born. The name crock pot is a registered trademark of the rival company. Much like the brand identity of Kleenex tissue, crock pot is synonymous with any brand of slow cooker. And since the very first pot, the name stuck. Over the years, the crock pot has changed with the times. In 2001, the rival company introduced the Smart Pot, the first ever programmable slow cooker. Slow, smart, or whatever you call it, the invention of this pot made meals quick and easy. And that's no crock. And even celebrities love their convenient slow cookers. Actress Reese Witherspoon brought her crock pot on the Ellen DeGeneres show to showcase her favorite dish, Coca Vaughn. Now for this week's Twilight Trivia. Last time I asked you, which holiday accounts for the most flower sales? And while Valentine's Day racks in the most fresh flower sales, Christmas actually sells the most overall when you include potted plants and flowers too. So the answer is B, Christmas. For this week's question, what color was the very first crock pot slow cooker? Was it A, olive green, B, yellow, or C, red? If you know the answer, head on over to our website. You know the address, twilatv.org, submit your answer, and we'll send one winner a copy of Holly Clegg's cookbook, which obviously has a lot of crock pot recipes in it. I would expect it does and I have to tell you I never would have dreamed that it would have been Christmas that had the most flower deliveries. Kristen Oaks, thanks.